that you have a sprite sheet, but you don't know what to do with it. That's okay. In this video, we'll explore two different ways to implement it and animate it inside of Go. So here I have my sprite sheet idle and I want to animate it. Now, one way we can do this is let's say this idle is supposed to be part of my player. Now what I do is I'm just going to reset it to zero. And in my animation tab right here, I can find the H frame and V frame. Now here we have one vertical frame. So this is correct. And how many horizontal we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So in the horizontal, I would write eleven. And now you can see here we have our animation or our, our player. Now to animate this properly, we will add an animation player. We will add a new animation like so. We can call this idle. We can go to our idle sprite. We will go to frame, key this. We can create. And it'll automatically go to the next frame, which is 0.1 seconds. I can now go up one frame and key again and just keep keying until it's done. So we get to uh, the max. And now if I loop this animation like so and I hit the play button, you will see it animating. And if I hit play, nothing will happen. But if I auto load this and then I hit play, you will see that my player will animate. Uh, except not because here I have some code. So let me just delete that. And there we go. Now we see our players animated. All right. So what's another way to do this as this might not always work because in our sprite frames, we actually have several sprite frames, right? I have jump over here. I have run. So this might not be ideal because now I need to add a bunch of different sprites. Right? This is not exactly ideal. So one option is outside of Godot, you can combine all of these and there's softwares online that can help you with this. But another way inside of Godot is by adding an animated Sprite 2D. So let me delete my idle and run here. Inside of my animated Sprite 2D, I can go to animation, Sprite frames, click empty, new Sprite frames, click this. And in here, I will click the grid icon right here or control shift O. And now I will find my sprite sheet by going to main character. Uh, I'll use the mass dude, go to idle and one vertical and I think 11 horizontal. We will select all, add all 11 frames. And here we go. Here I will change the FPS though to 15. Hit play and you will see we can do the same thing though by playing auto load. And again, if I hit play, you will see my animation working. Now, just a note. Uh, I'm not going to show it in this video exactly, but you should know that inside of Godot, you can also use this as a container. So you don't need to animate this or use this to animate, but you can use it as a container. So of course you would do the same thing for the run. So let's add a new frame here or a new uh, animation. Call it run. We'll add a new grid here. Run. I believe this one is 12 by one. Add all. And here we go. Here we have two different animations. Now, the cool part about this is that inside of the animation player, I can try to add the animated sprite. It's a little difficult, but what I need to do is click the animated sprite, go to animation on the bottom. And now in my animation sprite on the inspector, I have this here. So now I can key things that I want. So this is the idle animation. So I would unselect this or I would select the idle animation and then go back to animation key the idle animation like so. And I can move this key to the beginning. And then you can start, of course, also keying the frames. So you can key the frames and do the same thing that we just did before. But this one's a little more difficult to do uh, as we will have to kind of do it manually, but you can see that it works fine. So just to kind of prove this, we can play this idle and make sure that the animated sprite is not supposed to be playing. And if we hit play, you will see that it should play the idle animation. So this is one option of doing it as well. All right, so that is like two or three different ways of animating your player inside of Godot. Hopefully this helped. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below and subscribe to my email list, and I'll see you all in the next video.